Welcome! I've got a big one. Who were? Here it is. Look at the size of this thing here. And in here is six pops. However, five of them are in a multi pack. So, would you class that as two pops? two purchases but it was one purchase because i got them at the same time and they've arrived together however you would describe it this is an order from danny and jazz or dj collectibles whatever they're calling themselves not cheap this total price of this order was 195 pounds i think Bloody hell! And the thing is, these are kind of all duplicates <laughs> as well. I need to get it open and uh, explain, or at least show you, and try and justify such an extravagant purchase as this from DJ Collectibles. So it's rather cumbersome to be opening standing up. I did briefly consider moving to a seated position to open this, but I don't know if it would be much easier, maybe a little bit. But we're here now. These pops are in one of my favourite lines. It feels like a little while since I had anything in this line. Like I say, these sort of duplicates. I'll explain about what I will do with my older versions of these pops in a little bit. Can't fault the packaging here. Plenty of these air pockets. I can see the big five pack has been wrapped in bubble wrap. I'll just put that down there. I'll show you that second. And where's the other one? Aha, and the other one has come in a sorter. So I'll show you the single pop first. Before I do that, you know the score, safety first. It's come in a plain sorter. As I say, I do already have a version of this pop. It's come in a DJ Collectibles protector as well. I think this was classed as slightly damaged. Unlike pop figures, and they run the DJ Collectibles site or they own it or whatever i don't know but they don't grade the pops that are damaged but they do show close-up photos and um i noticed um, there's a little bit of a crease somewhere on the box but it wasn't anywhere near enough to bother me i'm talking about number 73 in the ad icons this is the diamond target exclusive energizer bunny so I don't know if people remember, it's about two and a half years ago nearly, when I got the common version of this. And I've been thinking about upgrading to one of these special editions for a while now. I've just never really had the chance to pull the trigger on it. But then um, the five pack, the next thing I'm going to show you, that was what I was really wanting. I'd been debating with myself about that for weeks, like months really. So eventually I pulled the trigger. And then I saw this while I was looking for that again. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to upgrade to this special edition Energizer Bunny. I'd say the box is in really nice condition here. I'm trying to find where there would have been a little bit of box damage. But to my eyes, I can't see any. There's got to be some, somewhere. I thought it was on the top somewhere. I'd class that as near mint myself. Excellent condition at the very least. It is a Target exclusive. It has the proper US sticker on it. It also has the little diamond sticker. I was thinking about getting this out of box, but um, you can kind of see him in his glory in the box anyway. And I want this video to keep moving fairly rapidly. And I know some people don't like the feel of the diamond pops. Like, they're very rough to the touch. I'm someone who hates flocked pops. I think there's a flocked version of Energizer Bunny. Don't know where's an exclusive to. That could be Target as well. I would have probably got that if that would have been the one that was on the side. But I think if I was getting it out of the box, I'd prefer to have the Diamond Edition. And it's the Diamond Edition I've got today. What am I going to do with my common one? Well, I'm going to give it to my daughter. However, there's some more duplicates I've got to talk about. And, oh, this is my first five pack of pops here. Excellently packaged here. Just covered in this thick bubble wrap. That's a lesson that certain retailers could learn from, namely Amazon and those arseholes at the Hook Group who I haven't used for a long, long time now. So I just refuse to. I don't care how good you say your pop in a box subscription has been lately. They're an absolute shithouse of a company. And some of us are principals, don't you know? Oh, I've got all five of these already, <laughs> but I just wanted this set. It's the McDonald's five pack, wow! Oh yes! Ah, oh, look at that! Look how wide it is! Oh, brilliant! Love it! 
love it. I mean, I've had my eye on this at DJ Collectibles, like I say, for I think at least a couple of months, probably more. Yeah, this was like the big expensive part of this order. Energizer Bunny, I think was $14.99. This was 180. Not much change out of 200 pound for this order. However, I am paying that off via lay-by over six installments. I'm not gonna get this open, never intended to. There's very rarely I will open any of my multi-packs unless they're for a collection such as wrestling or parks and recreation or the office where I will get them out and keep them out of box anyway. Here we have Officer Mac, Grimace, Ronald McDonald, The Hamburglar and Mayor McCheese. Now then, four of these are exact duplicates. I'm going to give those to my eldest daughter because I've already passed on all the McDonald's pops that I've either not wanted or I've upgraded in some fashion to her and she really likes the McDonald's range so I'm going to give those four supplementary McDonald's characters to my eldest at the same time that I'm going to give the common Energizer Bunny to my youngest. However, there's a certain diamond exclusive Ronald McDonald that's in my pop collection that I got from Hull Pops. When was that? It was about a year-ish ago maybe. A box lunch exclusive and what I've decided to do with that is I'm going to hold a patron only giveaway. Patrons of mine look out for it that's going to be coming along I would say within the next 24 hours and uh, if you want to enter that giveaway then I will give you all the instructions in a Patreon exclusive video tomorrow. And of course if any of you aren't patrons but you'd like the chance to win Diamond Ronald McDonald, then you know what you need to do. You need to join my Patreon. It costs from just as little as one US dollar a month, and there you will get early access videos, you'll get exclusive videos, exclusive giveaways, of course. And um, with the Diamond Edition box lunch exclusive Ronald McDonald, I will, I think, be throwing in some sort of mystery bonus prize for the winner as well. So it's not just going to be that pop there'll be something else as well I've not decided what that is but um please check out patreon and please join in plenty of time for you to enter that giveaway if it interests you so there we are um couple of purchases from DJ collectibles really nice energizer bunny diamond edition here and the five pack with the lovely golden sticker on that I forgot to mention actually earlier on yeah this McDonald's golden archers What's that say? Golden Archers Unlimited? How weird. Exclusive. But there we are. Amazing five pack. And yes, I have also sourced a special five pack protector from ATV so that I can keep this as nice as it is right now in my display. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look at six ad icons, five of them in the one set, and another one on his Todd here today. I want to say special thanks, as always, to my wonderful subscribers and my generous patrons. I've already mentioned about my Patreon, and as I say, from tomorrow there will be a special USA exclusive Funko Pop giveaway just for patrons, but also down in my description text box, as well as the Patreon link, is my Facebook group link and one for contents insurance as well. I'm going to go now got a lot of shifting around to do so I've got to take the four McDonald's pops that I'm giving to my eldest out of my ad icons display behind me and also the Energizer Bunny common pop that I'm giving to my youngest and then I've got to put this in a protector put this and this into the display and it should make a little bit more room very temporarily of course in that particular display but it will come in handy to have these as a five pack no doubt and it just looks cooler doesn't it and i do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next overpriced but rather special funko pop unboxing video cheers everyone see ya